Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Center and I am back with another garden project. So today I actually have a bit of a strange video for you. I was not planning to film this, but my plant of the summer, if you haven't noticed, is this Prima Winners Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum. I planted them in my window boxes. I've also planted them along the landscape and I love them. They're this beautiful pink color. They get massive. This is two months of growth here. Um, they get massive quick. They're self-cleaning. They get two by three feet tall and wide in containers and in the landscape. So you can see I have one right up here that is still growing and they just, so far they look beautiful wherever I've put them. And they, they do need fertilized, but they're very low maintenance plants, which is right up my alley. So as you know, I am putting in, <laughs> it is here, my new shed around the corner. And I've put in some foundation plants, some hydrangeas, some butterfly bushes, a gardenia, and a rose. But I need a few small annuals to kind of fill out the space. I'm also going to be dividing and planting some lamb's ear down there. But for my color, I of course wanted to put some super tunia vistas. Now that vista is the key word here because they do have just super tunias in all different colors. You can also get super tunia mini vistas, which are slightly smaller petunias. Um, but that vista is the key word when you're looking for what the ones that get massive, that get these big blooms for two, three feet at a time. And this video is not sponsored, FYI. I have bought every single one of these plants myself. I'm just in love with them. I first saw them over on Laura with Garden Answers channel. Um, and last year I did a lot of vinca. And I liked the vinca, but I didn't love the vinca. I've got some of the vinca babies down here because those do receive. Now in my zone, 8B, the super tunia, um, this does a lot of times act as a perennial and they come back. So we will see if any of these come back next year. But as I was saying, um, I wanted some color down by the shed. So I went back to the local nursery and I got three different Super Tanya Vistas. I got some more bubblegum. I got some fuchsia and I got some snow drifts. So they are all Super Tanya Vistas by Proven Winner, which means they will all perform very similarly. Now, not all of them perform exactly the same, from what I've researched, the bubblegum is kind of the, the one that gets the biggest and the best. So it'll be interesting to see how the other two colors act. I'm going to put the snowdrift in the two urns with my little egg trellises right behind you. I think those will look really pretty coming out and spilling over the sides. And I'm going to put the fuchsias down in front of the shed. So by the end of the summer, we will have a good idea of how all three colors perform. And I just, I was looking at all three in the boxes. I wanted to see the color difference because I see the bubble gum everywhere, all the big box stores. You can buy it like on every street corner because it's such a proven plant. Everyone knows how amazing it is. But I haven't seen too much of the other colors unless I go to an actual nursery. And since I was at an actual nursery, I was able to get all three colors. I believe they also have a few other colors. Like this year, they have a yellow. Um, last year, I'll put a picture up. I did the Bordeaux, which is a purpley, like lavender in the middle and dark purple on the outside. And they did fabulous as well. I'll link to that video for my window boxes last year. But even those were just super tunias. They did not do nearly as good as these super tunia Vista bubblegums. So I'm going to show you real quick the difference in the three colors so that you can really see them up close. And then we are going to start planting. We are going to plant, I believe, like I said, the fuchsia down in front of the shed and the, the snowdrift, the whites and the pots. So I'm very excited. Here is a closer look. And you can see that these guys will start to grow into the other plants. They just they literally want all the room for themselves. They have these beautiful leaves even, um, but they're just beautiful. And I have them dotted all along the front. So this plant here, I put in the 1st of April. It is June 7th today. 
So these plants here, I put these in mid May. They're almost a month old. So you can see the difference in how big they get. In another month, these will be just as big. But I mean, look at the size of this plant here. So big. And even down here in full shade, they do just as good. Now they don't have quite as many blooms in full shade as they did down in full sun. But even my full shade window box has quite a bit of blooms on it. This is a different Supertunia um, silverberry, I believe. But this is bubblegum and this is bubblegum. They're just so pretty. I just love them. So pretty. And I have life happens y'all. So I haven't fertilized these guys in probably two weeks. So they definitely need fertilized, but even without fertilizer, they are glorious, just glorious. I just, I really do love them. So we are still working on the bed down here, but look at these ones. I think these three, the other side of my little hose here are probably my favorite. Picking up this entire corner. This one is growing up and through the orb like a champ. I want it to spill off this whole corner. It will by the end of the season. It's just so pretty. All right, let's go up on the porch now and I'll show you the three different colors. Okay, so this is the fuchsia. And you look at the official tag, Supertunia Vista Fuchsia, full to part sun, 12 by 24. They get bigger than that when they like their spot. And here is the tag. So they are all identical except for the color, of course. But fuchsia, there's the difference in the fuchsia and the bubblegum. But you see how even the tag on the fuchsia is a slightly different color? That's why I wanted to see them in person. And then here is the snowdrift, that pretty pure white. So even a container with these three would be pretty. But I'm putting them in slightly different areas. I've also got all my plants for my summer containers up here because I'm going to be replacing this hot mass with some pretty summer color since all my violas are gone. So let's go ahead, let's break these babies out of the pots and into their spots. All right, y'all, so first things first, if you watched my drip irrigation video, you know that I planted these sweet peas from seed and they were doing really good. But what I've learned about sweet peas is I needed to have winter sown them they're just, they're all dying because it's too hot for them now. They should have already bloomed. My umbrella just fell. They should have already bloomed and produced fruit and I just, I planted them too late. So, you know, you live, you learn, and next year I'll plant them earlier. So unfortunately, while I hate to take them out, I'm going to take them out because they're just not doing well. And instead, I'm going to plant these snowdrift in these pots. I am keeping these to put in the compost heap, but you can throw them away. Try to get as many roots as possible. This soil and compost is new. Um, I've only grown the sweet peas in it, so I am going to keep it in here. Add a little bit of slow release fertilizer. And then I'm just going to plant my 
super tuning in this to Snowdrift. A little, little bit of roots down here to, to tease. And we are just planting one of these in these pots. They are vistas, so they should really fill in and bloom and go crazy. And one plant should really fill these up. But, you know, I've heard, heard things. I've heard that the snowdrift and the fuchsia and the other vista colors do great. And I've heard that nothing beats bubblegum and that these guys don't grow as good as the bubblegum do. So this is also a bit of an experiment to see how well these really grow. Because I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen. These are the bubble gum right now, two months in at my mom's house in her containers. I really thought this one might bloom. It's just dying at the base. So sad. Next year, next year, sweet peas, you will have a chance. But anyways, what I was saying was the pots at my mom's house for the bubble gum, that is, that is literally one plant in each of these pots. So, there you go. Making sure there's not a bunch of roots in there. There's not. And these have good roots. Both of them did. Some of the bubble gum I planted right when they were little, back in April, and they had. There's a root. They had hardly any roots and now they're, you know, huge. There we go. We'll water these in and we'll watch them grow. We're gonna go plant the fuchsias in front of the shed now. Aha. Looks good. I will be updating you on these and the other ones. I'll probably do a video at the end of the season on how all the different Super Tunia Vista colors have done. But you can, of course, always see them in my monthly garden tours as well. I will show you how they're doing. But for now, fuchsia. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to put the two fuchsias down here in between my butterfly bushes, these are the proven winners, Hugster Pink Butterfly Bushes and my White Star Hydrangeas. This is obviously a brand new garden bed. If you haven't been watching my series where I show you my new shed that's going in. It just went in and now I'm working on planting around it. I'm gonna put some pea gravel and compost all around it. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, how the garden beds are going to go around it just yet. I'm just kind of doing the foundation plants, like these bigger bushes. I have a gardenia right there as well. But I knew I wanted at least a few super tunias, so these were the last two fuchsia my store had. So I had to grab them. And I think they will give us a really nice 
pop of color right here. This hot pink. So I am, I think, going to put um, cardboard down all around here to suppress all the weeds. Even though if you caught that video, I did weed and till this whole field. Um, and that took care of all the big weeds and the grass. But now all of the baby weeds and seeds from the old weeds are coming up. So I'm going to do like a no dig garden bed method and I'm going to put cardboard down before I put compost down um, and try to just suppress all the weeds that I don't want before I put compost because the compost will just feed the weeds. So today we're just going to plant the two fuchsia. Eventually this hydrangea will get five feet and this bush will get three feet. So for now this is a nice annual fill in a little bit of the space where these bushes will eventually be. Do the one on the other side. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Um, all of the bubble gums that I bought, all seven, are going to mom's house. I will try to put some clips of those just planted. And then at the end of the season, when we come back and do a comparison video to how all three of these look um, from planted to finished, hopefully they big and beautiful. And this whole space will be completely transformed. We'll be able to see the whole transformation. But for today, we've got our super tanya vista fuchsia and snowdrift in the ground. I showed you all the bubble gum that I already have. Now I'm gonna go get out of this heat. Bye y'all.
eventually I'm going to get drip irrigation and run to here like I did in the front. But for now, I toss it on a stick plan, working great. <laughs> Even better when I coil it up. But for now, I'm using it on my new Veronica up top, so all the way stretched out. 